guys welcome back to our channel so today i'm just cleaning the machine right now because it's full of glitter and today's project we're going to be sewing a crop top hoodie for me today's project is going to be uh, this hoodie the pattern is from quick sew and it's a very simple hoodie if you look in the back there's some pictures so it's just a top with two sleeves and a hood there are no pockets but for Isabel we are going to change it and make it a bit crop top and it's going to be all black with plaid sleeves now if you've never used a pattern before the first thing you want to do is make sure you get your size and this pattern comes in extra extra small through large and in the back it gives you the measurements so I'm gonna take Isabel's measurements and see which size fits her so I have my measuring tape and paper and pen to take Isabel's measurements and I will just need to do her chest and waist and then the length of her back length to get the length of the crop top okay so I got Isabel's measurements and she falls into the extra extra small category and I am going to show you how to transfer that size to the fabric without uh, cutting all cutting that size and keeping all the measurements okay so I cut out the pattern pieces that I needed and here are a few things I just want to point out on the pattern it'll tell you the grain line is usually a line with two arrows at the end and this is to give you a direction on how to lay the pattern so this is saying that this should be laid out where the greatest stretch of the fabric is so the fabric stretches this way so you want to lay the pattern uh, the way the fabric stretches also, as you can see, I cut out all the sizes, but we're only gonna use the extra, extra small. So once I pin the pattern down, I'm going to trace the extra small to the fabric using tracing paper and a tracing wheel. So right now, I pinned the front bodice and the back bodice to the fabric. And here, as you can see, it tells you on the pattern that this should be placed on the fold of the fabric, the center front fold. And this one should be placed on the fold too, but because I'm trying to save fabric, I'm going to just butt it next to this pattern. And then what I'll do is add an extra quarter inch and that'll be the seam. So it'll have a back seam. And right now I'm gonna show you how to trace the size that I need to the fabric so you will need to get tracing paper and a tracing wheel tracing paper comes in different colors and since this fabric is black I'm going to use the white tracing paper and all you do is put the paper underneath the pattern piece where the size that you need is and then what you do is you'll take your tracing wheel and you're going to just follow the line of the size that you need and then you should see the marking it'll be a bit darker once I do it without holding the phone so I'll go ahead and trace her size and then what I also did is I folded up the pattern piece to shorten it on both pieces and I another thing I want to point out is these little triangles they're called notches 
So you want to also transfer that to the piece. So I've already marked it with the tracing paper. I just did a line straight through. And those notches are just to give you guidance on, for instance, this is the armhole. This notch is letting me know that when I go to sew the sleeve to the armhole, I match the notches from the sleeve to the armhole so that I know that I'm sewing the correct arm uh, because there is a back and a front to the arm or to the sleeve so I want to make sure I'm sewing the correct one to the front and the correct one to the back so just be sure to transfer these notches as well so I'm going to take off the pattern so you can see what it looks like after I traced the piece. So you can see now that I traced it. And don't worry, this um, tracing paper, it gets dusty, but it comes off. And since we're doing the wrong side of the fabric, anyways, you're not going to see it. So as you can see, I have the lines here. So when you go to cut, you're just going to snip a little bit where the notches are. I broke my tops off right there. Okay, so here on where the pattern said to cut on center back fold, I actually just added an extra quarter inch because that's where I'm going to stitch. Otherwise, if you put it on the fold, it would, there wouldn't be a seam there, but this pattern will have a back seam. And I also want to show you that these are the scissors that I use because it's got a spring and it's just a lot easier on my hand to cut and uh, doesn't strain my hand as much as regular scissors. Okay, so I just want to point out that on the hood, there are these four lines and then the notch mark. So I transferred the four lines and the notch mark. And what I'm going to do is just clip each line. These four lines is just because you're going to tuck the hood. And I'll show you that once we sew it. But for now, you just clip each line but try to because this is a five eighths five eighth seam allowance you're going to want to just clip about a quarter inch yeah <laughs> i forgot how to do it got the socks now it's time to put them on got them on do you guys know how to do this? It's something like that. I love this part. The ring. I'm back. Why is it not playing my song? I have a big one. Okay, I need this garbage. I know, I'm coming back for it. Jeez. My brother didn't need any of this cereal. But I need to throw this away. The trash. Now I gotta get the other stuff. All this. 
Wait, this too? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. Come back when I throw it away. Okay, guys, so I just threw it away. And I am just waiting for my for my aunt to finish cutting the thing. I tried drawing up a clown eye. Looks weird. I don't know why I have this spray bottle. Oh my gosh, I just got water all over my desk. I'm gonna clean it. By cleaning it, I mean I'm gonna wipe it with my shirt. Gotta clean the camera too. That's fine. Can't take that the long I'm bored. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Okay, so all the pattern pieces have been cut out. As you can see, this is the back piece, the front piece, the hood, and the sleeves. Are you ready to sew? Sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she is not ready to sew, but uh, we'll get started now. Before she's gonna sew, um, before I'm gonna sew, I wanna give you a kitchen tour. So, first we, don't mind the sticker. Okay. So first we have the refrigerator. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, time to sew. I will show you guys after I sew. All right, Isabel's ready. Yes. Okay, sorry. Okay. Oh, good boy. You're gonna do fine. No, I'm not. Okay. Can I already do it? You can take that pin out. Okay, and then how do I? Put it under the foot. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like. I know the fabric's a little thick. Here, yeah. let me start it for you. I think I got it. You okay, got I'll it? record. Switchy spot. Okay. <laughs> so she's gonna start it for me so it's easier now remember because there's no back stitch we have to re go over this stitch again but we'll do that at the end Okay, so now it's your turn. Oh gosh. Wait, I need to get the foot pedal thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Try to keep it straight. Okay. You're going off a little. Remember, see how much? Try to keep it straight. to die. <laughs> Don't record that. Well, I they didn't hear the story, so yeah. Okay. Wait, didn't you have these on like a different container thing? On a magnet? Yeah. I forgot to bring the magnet. Mm. Okay. So did you finish sewing? Let's the back see. Seam. Okay, this is what it looks like right now. Sewed it. Now she's doing the back stitch. I'm going to record some of it, not all of it. Okay, that was quick, never mind. Okay, so we sewed the back pieces together. Now we're going to sew the shoulder seams together. 
these are the shoulder seams and then as you can see this round part is the neckline so you can see how it's starting to form the top so let's sew that piece together in the right direction it's oh you're not recording yet i am recording oh okay never mind okay so isabel sewing the shoulder seams together and that's it just up to yeah just all the way up to the end there Try to keep the fabric straight. I'm trying. Is that fun? I get those goosebumps every time. Okay, so now we're going to sew the sleeve. So what I did is pin the sleeve to the armhole. Once you have the back and the front shoulder seams together, you'll be able to pin the sleeve matching the notches. So here is where I matched the notches. I'm gonna try to lay it out to show you. So it's kind of a curve for the armhole. So you're just going to follow the curve when you sew the sleeve. Okay, the, <clears throat> the sleeve has been sewn to the armhole. And you can see it's a rounded curve. And just to give you a better view, when you turn it right side out, So you could see now how it's forming the sleeve. So now what we're going to do is turn it back to right sides together so it'll be inside out. So the next step would, to be, would be sewing the sleeve and making sure these seams line up when you sew and then you're going to sew and come down to the side so this would be the side seam up to the armhole and down the sleeve so my aunt went to get her sewing machine because mine wasn't working and plus this will help us make the sweatshirt faster so she's almost done she's almost done sewing the sleeve Okay guys, so right now she's sewing the other sleeve and we're almost done. We just need the hood after this, right? Mm -hmm. And then we're done. And then I'm going to model it. Model it. You still have to try it on to see. Well, yeah. It's fitting. Yeah. And how long it works. Yeah. Okay, so she's almost done. Okay guys, so... I tried it on and I decided not to make it a crop top because I want to wear it to school. And this is what it looks like so far. Um, my aunt is working on the hood, the hood right now, so I, I was just trying it on and it's so soft. I like it. I'm going to wear this to school every day. Okay, so I just want to show you this is the hood and the two lines that I notched at the bottom are like little pleats so okay. pretty much all you do is just mm -hmm. fold it over and you create two little pleats okay so she's still sewing the hood and i really like how it's plaid on the sleeves and then just plain black for like the body and plus it's so soft and fluffy Okay guys, so she, I took off the um, sweater and she's gonna sew on the hood now, so yeah. Okay guys, so this is my finished project. Um, I really like it and the hood is kind of 
big, but it's fine. And um, this is perfect for the cold weather. And um, yeah. Come over here, I want to see. Okay. A close up of the hood. Yeah, the hood, the pattern of the hood was a little big, but I think it's cool. I think it's cool that it's a little big. And those sleeves, girl, they look so good. You look so stylish. I love it. and um, make sure to like this video and comment what project you want us to do next. Bye!